accepted the dark. I was born in it. I hear shots! Okay, ma'am, calm down. What kind of shots? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel and you have tuned into the first instalment of my new series, My Ride and Me. So today I'm stood with a very special client of mine, Mr. Jody Milhouse. How's it going man? Good 400 to see motorcycles <laughs> likewise. Um, yeah, so as I said, he's a very special client of mine and he builds some insane bikes. So we're going to have a quick chat with Jody today. He's going to tell us about his journey, where he started, what's next. Where he's at the minute and everything about Fort and Hundred basically. Basically, basically. basically everything about Fort and Hundred yes. So yeah. So yeah, first of all, thanks for having me on the channel. Pleasure to be here. Obviously, we're still in Fort and Hundreds workshop. Yeah. You know, we got loads of bits rolling around. Every time you come down though. You're in here with a camera, yeah, filming yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean, all that kind of good stuff. So <laughs> these guys will have already seen what's on the channel yeah, already, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, today we're going to be talking about this bike, which is my personal bike, which is a WFB. Um, but yeah, like you said, literally, first things first, Fort and 100, yeah, you know, Fort and 100. We talk are Fort and 100, so we are a custom motorcycle builder. I am an ambassador for Triumph Motorcycles, so everything we do is Triumph. Yeah, and yeah. All of the bikes that we've got in here are Triumphs at the moment. And they're actually all Triumph Bobbers, because that's our main, main yeah, bike. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, of course, um, of course. Thornton 100, I started Thornton 100, what, like five years ago now? Something like that. Yeah, it would have been about five years yeah, ago. Yeah. I can't remember the first job you did for me, I believe, was the Panigale. Yes, you moved that bike was. a couple of times for me, do you remember? And that's how we met. That's it, man. <laughs> honestly, so this guy, honestly, this guy sorted me out with the Panigale, took it all the way, way, way up north, it was like Cheshire or something like that. I can't remember, man. I can't absolutely remember. Absolutely mad. Honestly, it was so sick. So you were bringing that backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, because the bike at the time, he went to the client, and then we had to move it here, move it back, blah, 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 blah. Absolute nightmare. But that was like one of the first main, but that kind of blew me up, didn't yeah, it, really? Yeah, but yeah, I literally yeah. started Fort 100 in a shed. It was basically a shipping container. And then worked my way up and then managed to build the first Triumph. I built the Panigale first, which was the first yeah, bike to yeah, move for yeah, me. Yeah. Um, and ever since then, you pretty much moved every single bike for me. 
from then. Pr- so pretty yeah, pretty much, pretty yeah. much. It's been mad, but obviously you've grown as a company. We're getting there. We're getting when there. When I first met you, were you driving a at the rusty transit? Yeah, the transit. Fuck oh, it, no, no, when I picked the bike up in that transit, I was like. This guy, this nuts. guy's transit, it's honestly, is so dope, honestly. <laughs> but I was like, you know what it, that was at the Berkshire show where we met you? Because I remember yeah. because you had the custom RCL shoes on. Yes, <laughs> yes. The RCL yes. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so fun. Honestly, so you, came, you gave me a card. And what I sort of saw was kind of someone who was very similar to me mm. in the way that you wanted to kind of grow a company and you were right at the very start. Do you know what I mean? And you came up, you were at the right place, right time, you came up, you gave me a card, and I literally, Precisely. I went, right, I need to move this yeah. bike, and I literally yeah. moved the card, so let's go to the show, guys. Yeah. Right place, right time. You've got to be there, though. You've got to show up, and if you're not there, then you're not, you're not going to have that opportunity, do you know what I mean? So, you know, I saw someone who was in a very similar position to me, you know, and I was like, right, okay, cool, right, let's just, let's just use him, let's help him out, because there's loads of companies that do yeah, it, yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? But there's big companies, this, something, the other, and we used them, we used people before, but they were absolutely diabolical. What I noticed about you is where you're strapping the bikes down, you know, every, nothing has ever got damaged, yeah, ever, yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Everything's insured, everything's cool, everything's sorted, and it's like, it's just, I just never had any doubts that the bikes were going to be sound, mm, you know what I mean? You always do what man. you can to help me out as well, last yeah. minute, blah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. so, that's why I've been using RCL, okay, and that's why wicked. we're still using you. But, wicked. you know, Thought 100 has grown into such a big kind of monster as well. Yes. And we're continuing to grow, so we'll be in a new workshop soon as well. So that's going to be a good place to, uh, to kind of launch a lot of bike videos from. So you guys will be in there very yeah, soon, I'm yeah, sure. Of you course, know, of picking course. up bikes, moving bits around. But, yeah. yeah, obviously that. And then, obviously, we're going to be moving this bike soon. Now, you might have to deliver this bike, because this bike goes up for live auction. Today's the 4th. And it goes up in about half an hour's time. What about 11 o'clock? Wow. <laughs> well, you know how to reach me. And well, that's it. You know, this bike time. could need to go, well, you might be driving it to somewhere in the world. <laughs> <That's about laughs> anywhere, anywhere. Anyway, but this bike has been fantastic and it's been a massive marketing tool for us. So yeah, yeah. Um, you've moved this bike for us before as well when you took it out to Donington and stuff mm-hmm, for us mm-hmm, as well. So mm-hmm. yeah, a couple of bits uh, um, that, we've, uh, that we've, we've, we've done together with this bike. Um, Obviously, it's been down to Goodwood, and it, yeah, I think you took it down to Goodwood for us as well, didn't you? Yes, yeah, yes, Festival yes, of yes, Speed, because yes, 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 I couldn't yes. find the gate. That place is a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's been down to Festival of Speed, but this has been just massive marketing tool for us. So, this is my personal bike. Obviously, it's getting sold and will be replaced mm-hmm. with another one, but this is a Triumph Bonneville Bobber Black 2019. Yeah. It is a supercharged bike with nitrous injection, dry nitrous injection, so it's 202 horsepower at the rear wheel with 170 foot pound of torque when it's full whack. So, this was running... And the best time it ever actually run was at DMO's event. Okay, uh, yeah, DMAX. At, at DMAX, yeah, at Santa Pod. And the best time it ran was a 10.49. And the, it was a super hot day. Mm. Track was super sticky. had all the grip in the world. I really struggled with grip in the last few, few recent runs. We literally only got to about 10, 10.5, 4 seconds, mm. I think, mm. was our quickest run. Uh, 130 mile an hour. So, pretty good. Not good enough for me, though. Yeah, like, yeah, honestly, like, fair, yeah, fair, like this fair. bike is done so, but it is a reliable, usable bike. You use it every day, yeah. and you can roll it, you know, and it's so sick. Like, you just jump on it and go every time it starts, and it's fantastic. So, yeah, it's a proper bit of kit, but yeah, I mean, I it's, know, I know it is a serious, serious machine, man. So, what I want to know, Jody, I'm going to take you back a little bit, right? You started about five years ago, maybe a little bit more than five years, because I remember I met you about when I just started, so about three and a half years yeah, ago ish. Yeah. So where you are at the minute, we know that you're smashing it. You've got, you've pretty much got the custom game in a chokehold. Four and hundreds everywhere. I've picked up bobbers, and people have said to me, "Oh, who could modify this for me?" I've said your name. They're like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, four and hundred." Do you know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I follow his Instagram or I watch his YouTube and blah blah blah. So great. What's next? What's next? So obviously. Bike-wise, what's next is the new WF 3.2. So yeah. bike-wise, it's going to be a very similar sort of platform. However, it's going to be 300 horsepower at the wheel, which is going to be absolutely monster. I'm hoping to get into the nines. You know, maybe even, you know, we'll see a low nine, low nine. Yeah, you know, maybe yeah, maybe yeah, see a low nine, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, which will be interesting. And then obviously Thornton 100 is yes. heading for the stars. So we are yes. moving into our new workshop. We are potentially have... A new venue being set up as well, so okay. we might have our own Thought 100 calf. Mm-hmm. I've always envisioned the Thought 100 bar and grill type thing, mm-hmm. a place where people can turn up, come and 
enjoy the custom bikes, have a look around. You know, obviously the clothing, the merch needs to expand. We are expanding worldwide. Now we have just signed with Triumph in the Philippines and they're gonna be our exclusive installer as well. So we're looking to get into the States. We absolutely need to get into the yes, States because that place that, is just- That's where it's at. That's where it's at. You know, people yeah, are yeah. throwing money around on motorbikes like it's absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah, Hundreds yeah. of thousands of pounds, not an issue. So we need to be there cashing in on that kind of craze as well. Taking over from the Harley boys, let's let's be honest, Harley's had its day. Come yeah, on. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Harley's yeah. had its day. I think they did all right with the live wire thing. I've had a go on one, it's all right, but like I'm looking forward to seeing what Triumph come out with a T1. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're gonna be out there, I think they're gonna smash it. I think they're working, you know, working with Williams on the electric motors and stuff like that. I just think it's gonna be so sick as well. And I'm very much looking forward to Triumph's new motocross and enduro bikes, which is gonna be launching really? in the spring, early next year. I as didn't well. even so, know about that. Yeah, so we're gonna have proper, proper mm. super motos, proper motocross bikes, and I absolutely can't wait to get my hands on one of them as well as we're gonna be working on a Triumph twelve hundred rally bike as well, like literally Dakar in Euro bike like that kind of style. You're taking the pitch. So, so yeah, we've got loads of stuff lined up. <laughs> we have so much lined up, and honestly, we 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 like you say we got we got the game in a bit of a chokehold right mm, now. Mm, you know, we're mm. absolutely dominating on social media stuff like that, and that's purely just the amount of effort and work that we're yeah, all putting in. Course, we've got a very course. good team here. We've all there's only four of us now, so you know we are literally all very focused on marketing and essentially getting that social media game on lock. So yes. obviously, check out our socials at Thornton Hundred Motorcycle, plug it, man. YouTube, plug it. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> TikTok, we're <laughs> everywhere. Facebook, you know, we're, we're about, you know. So that's what it's all about. It's about just getting our names out there and being absolutely everywhere without diluting the brand too much, you yes, know. But, you know, yes, we are, that's, yes. it's a very delicate balance and I think we've got it right okay so far. Yes. So, you know, hopefully we just keep our heads down. We keep selling, we go worldwide with it. And then, yeah, you'll see me out here in five years' time and we'll have multiple bikes out here. <laughs> I'll show you my bike everywhere. collection. Yeah, you know I, mean? so, I might actually need to get a dedicated van YouTube. Just for the Thornton 100. Yeah. Well, I was talking to Evan about this the other day, actually, talking about getting the Thornton 100 decal on the side of the van and that. Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah. you're going to be our delivery guy. You know, I was like, I was like, we could just get Thornton 100 on the side, something yeah, like that. Yeah. I was like, that would be Hell sick. Yeah. Like, that would be it cool, man. So, yeah. So potential for that in the future, yeah. But that's where we're going. So yeah. obviously, we're okay. looking Wicked. at taking over the world today. Wicked. There's lots and lots Wicked. going on. But uh, yeah, what's your spec? Awesome, what's awesome. Spec? So Jody, what I want to know, I want to know a bit about you now. Yeah. So. How did you get into bikes? Where did your bike journey start? So my bike journey started when I was literally, what, like, well, when I was born. My yeah. dad was in motorbikes. Okay. My yeah, mum yeah, loves yeah. motorbikes. You know, it was going to happen. So, you know, we've come from a complete family of motorbikes. And yeah. I actually trained as a mechanical engineer. I was a okay. mechanical yeah, yeah, engineering yeah. apprentice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, kind of yeah. where I got my ability to be able to kind of engineer a bike and understand how it should work mechanically. Yeah. However, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not a welder, I'm not a painter, I'm not a blood holster, I'm not, a, I'm not anything. But, <laughs> but you built this. You know, if you want something <laughs> if you want something bad enough, you work for it and you just get it, right? Uh, yeah, you just do it, you just do it. And, and if you yeah, want yeah, it bad yeah. enough, you just do it. So that's what I've been doing, and I literally am self-taught everything. Yeah. Um, so, you know, YouTube is your friend. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> when it comes to that sort of stuff. So yeah, get into bikes, you know, real young age, riding, Bicycles, mountain bikes, trials mm. bikes, anything with two wheels. So that's really what I was about. Okay. And that's kind of stemmed from that. And obviously, mm. it's only ever going to stay that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do yeah. love yeah. cars. I would like to get to cars. However, cars are very expensive. Especially the kind of cars that I want. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So they're coming, but it's not yet. All right. All right. <laughs> wicked, yeah. wicked, wicked, so that's wicked. where we're at, really. You know, that's oh, how right. I got into bikes. Obviously, it was always going to be a thing. So, yeah, absolutely love it. Next question. What made you start building bikes? What started Thought 100? Why did you build, like, It's how, an why? interesting thing because yeah. I literally just wanted to build a cafe racer. So yeah. I built my first motorbike, right? My first motorbike I built was a Honda XR600R. And right. that, was my, photos. that was my literally first bike I ever built. Yeah. It was in the back of my dad's workshop. It was literally used as a donor bike. There was just a frame, yeah. there was an engine, yeah, yeah. there was nothing. And I built it, I built it, and I blew it up like three times. It was faster every time I blew it up. It was so much fun. Um, and then I thought, I'm going to build a cafe racer. So I, mm. I, I got a Jawa TS350, bought it for 300, uh, 400 quid. I paid for it. Um, I did that. And uh, literally a two stroke parallel twin. Um, yeah. And honestly, a massive heap. But mm. I built it just in my, in my, literally in my evenings and my yeah. weekends, stuff yeah. like that. I was loving it. And I built it and I built the expansion chambers and I did everything for it. It was great. It was a lot of fun. And then what happened was I sold it. 
I got two grand for it. I sold it to Belgium. Mm. Thing was great. Honestly, I'd love to find that bike yeah, again. Yeah, I'd yeah, love yeah, to yeah, find yeah. it, and I'd love to buy it back because it was the first ever cafe racer I ever bought. Yeah, um, yeah. It is a heat, but... Mm. Yeah, that's your, <laughs> that's your first yeah. ever... You know that's I mean? it, man. Yeah, that's yeah. the first ever bike. So, yeah, it's one of them, really. So, yeah, sold that through the Bike Sheds Classified website page, and then yep. I built... Uh, so, once I'd sold that... Um, Literally, I think I sold that, and then when I got upset with my current employees as, a, as, an, as an apprentice, I was like, right, I'm leaving, see you later. I literally had a workshop, which was a shipping container out the front yeah, of the workshop. Yeah. I thought of a name, I designed a logo, built the website, did everything in a month, yeah, yeah, and yeah. literally got out there and just built bikes. Like, yeah, the first bike I ever yeah. built really was a Honda CR500. I was at the bike show okay. with that. Yeah, that bike yeah. was a bit mad. I, bought, yeah. I paid 500 quid for it. Yeah. Again, basket case, complete just basket case. Five. Built everything for it. Hmm. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, built that bike, then built with, like little KZ uh, Kawasaki's, and I was doing Honda CX 500s, and I just went my way up, worked my way up. From there, SLR 650, which is yeah. on my YouTube channel, first ever video I've ever posted. Okay, I yeah, made that yeah, video yeah. on my phone. It's got two and a half million <laughs> views, and it's just mad. So you know, Nuts. it's just kind of taken off from there, really. So yeah, it's um, it's been a bit of a mad journey, but that's literally how I started, and yeah, it, it was just just a case of winging it. Okay. It. If you okay. want it bad enough, you do it. You yeah. do it. So you just wing it and go from there, really. So, yeah. yeah, wicked, wicked, wicked. So I want to talk to you as well about this bike because I've picked it up a few times. Um, I've taken photos and little videos. I know that it's supercharged. I know that it's got nitrous. I've dropped it to a few places to get a few bits and bobs done. Yeah. I want you to tell me what is on this bike. What makes it so fast? What have you had to do so to literally, get this bike to this level? Obviously, we have... I've got a 1200 parallel twin engine, which makes 80 horsepower at the factory. So yeah. we've got a lumpy cam in it, which is actually from an OEM factory, right? We have forged pistons and we've got a clutch and that is basically it, engine wise. Really? Yeah, literally, so we haven't even messed about with it this much. So the thing that's making this thing go fast is the Rotrex C15 supercharger and the complete custom intercooler, plenum, piping, all of the inlet manifolds that run round and then force all that air in. And then obviously we're getting it out really quick. We've got these absolute monster mm. 60 millimeter exhaust pipes there, which absolutely just blast up. These <laughs> things are so <laughs> sick, honestly. So yeah, it's an absolute monster. We've got big ignition coils here. So mm -hmm. this thing literally is like a lightning bolt every yeah. time it fires that spark plug. Um, and then we've got obviously the dry nitrous system as well, which is all managed by a complete standalone ECU. We've got a okay. complete custom ECU master dash. And then off the back of that, we've got a complete wiring loom that connects everything yes, together. Yes, we've got yes. the paint on the tank. We've got the paint underneath the seat. We've got the grippy seat cover. We've got all of our Thornton 100 bits on it as well. So obviously we've got the V4 wide wheel kit, the yeah. upside down custom Olins, yeah. Fox shocks. We've got all of our wavy discs. We've got the mm -hmm. number plate mount, the seat mount, all the lights, the LEDs are so sick as well. They just tie this whole bike all together and yeah, make it look yeah. wide and chunky because I never really designed it to be that fast. Yeah. I just thought it's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, this is a burnout machine. So I was like, right, cool. I'm just going to, I'm just <laughs> going to build it and just build what I think is cool. And this is what has kind of come out the back of it. So yeah. Love yeah. It. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'm looking at a few other bits as well. Yeah. I can see a quick shifter. Quick shifter on there. We've got the Dynajet quick shifter as well, which is not for a bobber. I don't believe you can buy a Dynajet quick shifter for a bobber. You couldn't at the time. Yeah. Um, so that is literally just off a random bike. Can't remember what bike it's off. Made it happen. It made it work. <laughs> made it happen. Quick shifter is a quick shifter. So yeah, we've got the quick shifter on there as well. So what I'm thinking on the new one is that we're going to have a pneumatic actuator, have an air shifter as well. So I'm literally really holding the throttle, mm. launching it, and banging the gears with a button on the on the on the on the handlebars here. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting what? sort of task. Yeah. So you literally bang it through the gears like that. So yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to yeah, be so much fun, and obviously you can keep sick. up to the build. On our YouTube as well 100%. as our Instagram, stuff like that yeah, as well. I'm going to so, drop yeah. a link in the description anyways, so you lot subscribe, follow on Instagram and all of that good stuff. Quick question, NOS. NOS. How does it work on this bike? So this is a dry nitrous injection system. So that what that means is that in the inlet manifolds yep. up under here, um, in throttle body, sorry, um, we literally have a fogger, which is called a, uh, it's called a fogger, so it's essentially just a, a, a nozzle which sprays. Okay. Dry nitrous oxide in there. A wet system, you would stray nitrous oxide and fuel in that system as well. So this is a dry system. So it's not the best kind of system, but it's very yeah. simple and very efficient. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Uh, just, to, just sort of bolt onto a bike and run it. So this adds an extra 40 horsepower. What it does is that nitrous is very, very, very cold yeah. um, and dense air. Um, what, well, uh, and, what, and, what, and what it does is when you inject it, 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 it cools the charge down, which allows the air to be more dense, which yeah. means you can get more of an explosion because there's more 
hydrogen and oxygen in there. So, there's there's literally everything in there. All the ingredients make a bigger bang and make it okay. go faster. So that is okay. literally how that notch just works. Okay. And it's actuated via the activation button on the dash there. Cool. And then it will inject nitrous after third gear after 3500 RPM as well. So yeah. Okay. It so there's sort of a formula as to when to hit it that's it yeah it as long as i've got it engaged it will in, it will inject itself um yeah. as well as long as i've got it all switched on okay, bo okay. bottle pressures uh correct they run about 900 psi okay um, wow. and as long as the bottle's open and everything like that it's yeah, just yeah. absolutely launch up the road yeah yeah because when i think about nos you know i'm gonna say in it it's fast and furious fast and furious <laughs> honestly honestly that is the only reason why i did it honestly Scene in Fast and Furious where yeah. he just walks into Rachel's Edge and he's like, I need nuts. He's like, I need big ones fighting that. I'm just like, I literally I turn around to the turn around to the boys. I was like, well, how are we gonna make it go faster? I was like, I need nuts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, straight. Oh, I need nuts. I need nuts. No. My, my car topped out at 140 miles per hour this morning. Amateurs don't use nitrous oxide. I've seen the way you drive. You got a heavy foot. You'll blow yourself to pieces. I need one of these. One of the big ones. But actually, you know, let's make it two. And Ari, I need a bite of knife. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, straight. Come on. Straight up. The only straight. thing with this, honestly, no one really runs NOS anymore. Yeah. It's a bit of a dead signal. It's very good, but it's very impractical. Dated. You can't get a hold of it. You know what I mean? It's it's a nightmare. Mm. You know, it's all American, really. And there's better ways of doing it now. Meth injection, ethanol. Yeah. Yeah. You've got all this good stuff that we can use. Um, Race fuel that would just make this thing run better. So the new bike yeah. isn't going to have NOS. It might okay. have water meth injection though. So okay. again, I'm okay. still on the fence as to what we're going to be doing with it, how we're going to engineer it. But it's going to be absolute monster. I okay, know sure. wicked. I'm I'm gonna get I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be so good. So yeah. <laughs> Cool, man. Well, yeah, honestly, so that's my Wicked, bike. Honestly, man. there's loads of stuff on it that make it super special, and it mm. is a real monster of a bike, and I love it. But like you say, it's going to be up for sale, so yeah. the funds from this are going to pay for the new bike to be built. Wicked, so can't wicked, wait. wicked, wicked. So I can see you've got an ECU Master Dash. Tell me a bit about that. Okay, so we've got the ECU Master Dash. As you can see, we've got the Thornton 100 loading screen there, and then all of your vital signs here. So we've got our RPM, speed in the middle. We've got our gear shift indicator. Indicators left and right, we've got all of our lights here as well. So we've got the oil pressure, fuel level, coolant temp and boost, as well as the nitrous arming capabilities here too. So if we flip through the mode buttons, we've got all the diagnostics here. So RPM, throttle position sensor, and then we have the lambda, charge temp, coolant temp, all that kind of good stuff as well. Front wheel speed, rear wheel speed, blah, 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 blah. And then through here as well, we've got the power management unit, which moves all the power around the bike as well. So we've got the battery voltage, blah, blah, blah. blah. So this bike, obviously, this... Dash obviously gives it all of its vital signs. So if you start it up, bro, see what it sounds like. Might so, as yeah. well, man. Let's give us a sound so check. What it will do is it will want a bit of a prime, and then what we'll yeah. do is we'll fire it, cool. and then it will go. So prime it like that. Yeah. And then what we'll do is. so sick as well honestly so struggle to start there reason she struggled to start is because she's actually got ethanol in her fuel tank right now okay and ethanol yeah, yeah. is actually a nightmare to get rolling so yeah. what we normally do is run it on v power reason it's got ethanol is because we were just at the drag strip as well we were yes. absolutely launching yes. this thing yes. but this bike is usable daily absolutely loves it so yeah mm. love this bike it's been great to me however time to move on yeah 
New patches, more power, bigger <laughs> things. It's going to be so sick. Dry. I cannot wait to Let's get a lot sorted baby. on it. So, yeah, man. 2022 is going to be a madness. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. That's all I've got That's to say. That's the one. So, yeah, man. What I really do like as well. Very nice touch on the supercharger. You've got a little TH there. Yeah, we've got the little TH. So, this runs off the end of the crankshaft here with a belt. And then we've got the pulley here as well. So, all of the systems all run really neat, nicely packaged and tucked away. So, yeah, absolute monster of a bike. Yeah, yeah. wicked. Very wicked. neatly packaged. So, yeah, absolutely love this thing. But, yeah, wicked. we'll be wicked. sad to see it go. But, yeah, yeah. Got to get that, go get that money back. In. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be done, man. So, a question that I've heard a lot of people ask, a lot of my customers that know that I do a lot of work for Thoughts and 100 want to know this question. And I do know 90% of the viewers watching this right now want to know this. Go on then. What does a Thor 100 bike cost? So, Thor 100 bikes cost, they start at 32,000. So, obviously a big chunk of that is the bike. Yeah. Depending on what you're, you're specking up with, you get specking up with superchargers, you yeah. know, our top spec bobbers are just over 50 grand. So, okay. you got upside down forks, you got big wheels on it you got yeah. all of the thornton 100 full v4 wide kit you got the supercharger yeah. you've got the upside down forks the big brembo brakes you've got the big brembo brakes on the back as well absolutely everything you could ever want image design custom paint blah yeah. blah blah yeah. these bikes yeah. are very 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 special as well so everyone is completely individual and yeah. we never say we say we never build the same thing twice yes. so each yes. bike obviously is completely custom built and tailored to the customer's requirements and what they're going to be using it for too yeah. so it is a lot of money yeah however can't put a price on. Bro, how? It's still 100. How? It's like how? Cartier. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Cartier. Come on. 100%, man. 100%. Can't put a price on a 400. So, yeah, obviously, second-hand market for these bikes doesn't really exist. Nah. People always keep their bikes. Not yet. Not yet. They don't. It'd be interesting to see what happens with the second-hand bikes, actually. But, yeah. you know, we'll see. We'll see off the back of that, but we'll see. So, yeah. 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 If I die, they'll be worth a lot more money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? That ain't going to happen, man. We don't die. No. Not at all. Not at all, bro. We're living. We're out here. We are living. Yes. 100,000 percent, man. So, yeah. That's what they start at. That's what they sort of finish at. You know, we have built more expensive bikes, but, you know, that's what we're aiming at right now. Like, okay. kind of middle market kind yeah. of thing there. Yeah. So. yeah. 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 All right. I mean, for what it is... Yes, I mean, it is an expensive bike. I won't deny that. However, if you've seen one of these bikes in person, then you'll sort of understand and appreciate why it costs what it costs. Um, I have seen cheaper builds that, mm, yeah, they're all right, but... They're not, they're not 400. Nah, nah, they are, they are not indeed. <laughs> they're they not are built not by indeed. these hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these are the exactly, money makers. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Nah, honestly, every bike is very well engineered. You know, yes. so there is other people doing this. There is other people, they charge about the same sort of money, yeah. you know. And, but, you know, we are Thornton 100. Everyone knows who we are. You know, we are building, I would say, the best custom Triumphs in Europe at the moment. Europe? Probably the world, you know. <laughs> what? I said probably the world. In probably the world. the world. I mean, really, the yes, there's other people building Triumphs. But, yes. you know, we are just, a, that attention to detail that we're putting in, we're building in proper safety factors. Everything is properly engineered you yeah. know that and and we're kind of tying it in with the factory style as well so you know they really do kind of all of our parts slide into the standard bike and, and kind of slide into that aesthetic very well everything fits very well together so that's kind of what we're aiming at and that is why we kind of got that kind of factory relationship that we have you know obviously maybe an, an ambassador for the brand and it just works very well for us so yeah, far. So, yeah, you know, yeah. and not to say that we won't ever build anything else, but, you know, I love the Triumphs at the moment and I want to stick with them and they are very, very well engineered. Mate, yeah, like yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. And I mean, there's zero cutting corners with Thor 100 as anyone that watches their social media, no anyone cut, that no follows cut. my stories. Is if there's something that's cheaper on the market that doesn't make sense, it's not going to happen. There is no bodging. There is no cutting corners. There Absolutely is no not. the cheaper option. If it will work, no. You do it properly or you don't do it at all. Absolutely, bro. And that's what it's all about here, you know, doing it properly or don't do it at all. So yeah. that's what we're all about. Hopefully that, uh, that kind of stance will stand as well in the long run as well. You 100%, know. yeah. yeah. I think that if we can just keep building these quality bikes, then they'll be around forever and hopefully yeah. they'll outlive me, all of yeah. these creations, because I do love them all yeah. very much, especially this bike. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, this bike is this bike is definitely sick. Um, but yeah, man, uh, what else to say? I don't even know. That's it, bro. Well, that's it, bro. Bike. Everything about 400. That is 400. That is the bike. And they are... <laughs> All right, so 
one last video from Goodwood Festival of Speed, and I had to make one with this. It's like a legendary bike. It's the Thornton 100 World's Fastest Bobber. Unfortunately, I won't be riding it or anything today. I'm here riding the Moto2 Daytona and the Speed Triple with Triumph. I'll put some links in the description to the video with those. Uh, but yeah, I will be able to start it up for you, and it's uh, quite loud. <laughs> I'm suing Thornton 100 for a new, a new pair of ears. But it's just such a spectacular bike that I wanted to talk you through all the mods and changes on it. We'll start at the front with that massively wide front tire. In fact, I think it's pretty much the same width as the rear on this, and it's a signature feature of the Thornton 100 bikes. If you look at the bobbers that they put out and some of the other Bonnevilles, they have this wide wheel kit, so obviously wider yokes and then a custom front wheel as well. Gives it a really mean, beefy stance to it. They've got their own custom hubs with their logo in them, which just looks absolutely awesome as well. Wavy discs, proper uber spec Brembo calipers at the front there, and then fully adjustable upside down forks. I think they might be the ones off the Bobber TFC because they've got that gold fork stanchion. I'll double check that when I'm editing this video. Was that right? Moving up a bit, you've got the original Bobber headlight there. I think it's a nice touch to keep it because it, you know, it gives it the same overall form. It's just kind of like on steroids. Now you may have already noticed you've got a couple of NOS cans here strapped to the swing arm and a few, uh, associated parts here and I think that's one of the reasons that they put a custom TFT dash on this bike so that you get some metrics about that kind of thing. Certainly gives it a bit of a more modern look in the cockpit and then you've also got these Moto Gadget mirrors. They're not actually glass, they're just super polished. No rim on them, they look really clean and then the Moto Gadget bar end indicators. Very nice indeed. In fact there are a few other parts from third party manufacturers like this uh, filler cap, I think that's from Motone. These sort of fake carb covers are Motone as is the shifter peg and I also think the ribbed engine cover is from Motone as well but you'll also see some parts that are made and sold by Thornton 100 themselves. Sorry mate, I was just, I've got the camera, I'm just doing a bit of filming, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, there's a few parts that Thornton make themselves and sell on their website. So if you've got a bobber, check out their website because stuff like this swing arm mounted license plate holder, it's a real thing of beauty, as is the shorty chain guard. Uh, and they also make these incredible paddock stands. Sorry, I'm still going. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> yeah, you can buy these paddock stands. I mean, look at that. It's a piece of art in its own right. It's proper machined, chunky, heavy thing. What a beaut. Couple of other bits I'm noticing as well. There's a quick shifter, which I don't think is standard fit or, you know, it's not an accessory, a Triumph accessory for the bobber. So there must have been a bit of work to get that work in. But look, the big thing is the supercharger. I think they've managed to get 200 horsepower with the supercharger and the NOS, yeah, 200 horsepower or something, which is why they call it the world's fastest bobber. I'd imagine that's a title that will stay unchallenged uh, for some time at that kind of level of power. In terms of the paint job, we've got a custom job on the tank, and what's nice about it is you've got a list of partners that have worked on this bike, all their logos down the middle of the tank, and it is a really stunning finish as well, this sort of marbling effect. Quilted seat and then matching paint on the seat pan there. There's a bracket for the lights as well to be relocated under the seat there, which is a really neat feature and definitely a, another big signature part for this kind of build. In fact, I'll start it up for you and you can hear it for yourself. <laughs> 